flat. A lighted salon. Uh, Casey? <laughs> Casey? Hi. 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 What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I came here to see you. You came all the way from California oh, to see me. Come on. How often does my baby sister get married? So, when do I get to meet my future brother-in-law? Where is this, Davis Lynch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, see what happens. so happy. Now you can move to real city, you know, and finally dump this silly lunch counter. Oh, look, we've switched to the red Naga hide. <laughs> yeah, before you go on, let oh, me just tell Joe you this Hackett one over thing. There? Oh, yeah, figures he's still on the island and probably married the checkout girl at the local stop and shop. <laughs> <laughs> You want to hear something really funny? <laughs> I, I broke up with Davis, and I'm marrying Joe. Oh, oh yeah. it, my God, you're serious. <laughs> Joe Hackett? Yeah. I couldn't believe it either. So, you're Chapel's sister, huh? The one with a rich husband, the big house in San Francisco, the fancy French underwear. <laughs> uh, how, how could you possibly know that? <laughs> Security problem with your luggage. Hey, Joe! Look who's here! Hi, Joe. Casey. Hi. Hi. So, Joe, what have you been up to lately? Joe owns Sandpiper Airlines. Oh, well, I'm impressed. How many planes do you have? Well, right now, just the one. So maybe a more fitting name would be Sandpiper Airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Helen, I gotta tell you, you look fantastic. Oh. You changed your hair. Yeah, I did. You like it? Uh-huh. You hate it, don't you? No, it's just... I hate well... it, too. It's just not me. Yeah. <laughs> um, Faye, I want you to meet my sister, Casey. Casey, oh. this is Faye. <laughs> Casey, well, what an interesting name. Is that short for something? Cassandra. Mom named me after a goddess in Greek mythology. Oh, so uh, are you named after Helen of Troy? No, a actually, I was named after my lactose intolerant aunt. Uh, you know what's curious? You don't have a southern accent like Helen. Well, I guess when you get out in the world, you kind of outgrow it. Besides, I never really had much of an accent. I'm sure you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. No, I didn't. Yeah, you certainly did. Drop it, okay? <laughs> She's lovely. <laughs> so, Joe, whatever happened to that little brother of yours? He used to be such a brat. Well, Casey, like all the rest of us, Brian has grown up now. As a matter of fact, he's my business partner. Hey, Joey, check out this great water pistol I got out of Lost and Found. <laughs> it fires when you yell, Fire! 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 Oh, my God. Casey Chapel, how are you, Mike? <laughs> uh, Casey, there's a towel that's behind my counter. Oh, I, I better get rid of this thing. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get hurt. Well, it's the uh, same old Casey, huh? She's not here two minutes. She insults your hair, your accent, and my airplane. Oh, well, that's no big deal. She didn't mean anything by it. Like she's so perfect. Well, sh she is. I mean, look at her. She's perfect. What, and you're not? Come on, Helen, don't do that to yourself. You're not Casey Chapel's fat little sister anymore. It's hard to forget. I mean, she was a prom queen. I was dairy queen. <laughs> just, just stop that, all right? Listen to me. You, you are every bit as beautiful. No, you are more beautiful than Casey. Helen, Helen, who is that goddess? She's, she's just gorgeous, stunning. Venus in a damp blouse. That's my sister. No way. All better. Hi. <laughs> Antonio, this is Casey. Hello. <laughs> Oh, listen, you two don't make any plans for tonight because I'm taking you both out to dinner. No, 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 no. Uh, Helen, tonight is special. I know it's special. My sister's here. <laughs> well, let's go catch up. Yeah. Um, Helen.
Carolyn? Yes. Where'd you get that eyeshadow? Oh, I'm washing it right off. <laughs> it's good to have you back. during gift-giving season. <laughs> I got eight grandkids. Last I counted. But this year, I'm going to Burger King for these wonderful Disney glasses. There's that nice boy, Aladdin. Beauty and the Beast. Magical Disney classics. The glasses are just 89 cents at Burger King with any Whopper value meal. So the kids get their favorite Disney glasses, and I eat every Whopper. It is better to give than to receive. Burger King, get your burgers worth... There are only a few days left to wrap up your holiday shopping. And JCPenney is the perfect place to do it. We're boxing up job suits, wrapping up thrones, packing up jeans, and saving you a bundle. We're putting out more gifts in more sizes and colors every single day. With the right gifts at the right price, JCPenney can help you tie things up for the holidays. It was Thursday before Christmas, and on NBC, a night of great comedy called Must See TV. Yeah, yeah! With Mad About You, and those chummy friends, and Lois Lane on Seinfeld, the fun never ends. Yeah, yeah! Then more Mad About You, what a bonus. Great stuff, a merry Thursday for all. Yeah! All right, that's enough. <laughs> nice. I cannot believe they're still not here. And where's Lowell with the ring? I came here to give a ring to a girl. I got no ring and no girl. I'll look on the bright side. I'm here. <laughs> look, the only reason you're here is to help me get rid of Casey. Now, you remember the plan? Yes, 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 yes. The band plays, isn't it romantic? I ask Casey for a dance so you can be alone with Helen and give her the ring. Good. <laughs> where are they? Hey, uh, Helen is never late. I know this is Casey's fault. Oh, you don't know that. Oh, come on. She hasn't changed a bit. She's still a snob. Don't you remember when we were kids? She always treated us like we were geeks. We were geeks. <laughs> the guys she hung out with were any better. Oh, you mean the Kennedys? <laughs> Hi, I'm sorry we're late. Uh, I couldn't decide what to wear. Oh, wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. Well, thank Casey. Oh, all I did was go through her entire closet, and then I said, let's see what I brought. <laughs> Good evening. Hello. Thank you. Welcome to Lexington. Thanks. Hey, aren't you Brian Hackett? I heard about Alex leaving you. How are you holding up? Uh, oh, thank you. Look, if you need to talk. Listen, can we order, please? Helen and I know what we want, the Chateaubriand for oh, two, right? Ooh, that sounds good. That's our favorite. Oh, you're so lucky you don't care about what you eat. I'll have the uh, pasta primavera with no oil, no butter, no sauce. Yes, that sounds good. I'll have that instead. Helen, they only make the Chateaubriand for two. I'll share it with you. Brian, are you sure you're up to eating? I'm fine, thank you. Hello, Joe. Uh, imagine running into you here. Hello. Uh, Joe, I managed to pick up the fuel pump for you. Uh, I was able to get the melon out. Uh, uh, it's a long story. Uh, uh, forced landing fruit stand. It's, uh... Smooth. <laughs> See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Antonio. <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, listen, they're playing, uh, Isn't It Romantic? Yeah. <laughs> Favorite song of mine. Gotta dance when I hear it. Would you would you care to dance with me? Oh, no thanks. I don't feel like dancing. Go on, Casey. Dance with him. She doesn't want to dance. Yeah, I'll dance with you. Is your name Casey? <laughs> Brian said he wanted to dance with Casey. I think we should see Casey dance. Maybe you should just get your six-shooter out and fire at her feet. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll dance. Huh? <laughs> Go on. Are you okay? Yeah, uh, yeah I, I'm fine. Look, especially now that we're alone. Helen, my life began the moment you said you'd marry me. Joe, that's so sweet. You've made me happier than I ever thought I could be. Ow! Oh! Oh, she... okay? Yeah, it's nothing. Brian just stomped on my toe. I'm sorry, but uh, I got distracted when the band leader asked me about Alex. <laughs> Why don't you uh, take Casey home, get some ice on her toe? <laughs> don't worry. I'm fine. You sure? Yes. And I am not going to ruin this night by leaving. <laughs> Besides, I have a little surprise for you two. Now, I know that you're just starting out, probably a little strapped for cash, so... Oh, what the heck? Here it is. Oh, my gosh. It's a diamond ring. <laughs> Now, that's a fuel pump. <laughs> See, I don't know what to say. Oh, it's only my old starter ring, but I know how you've always admired it. Oh. It's really beautiful, but I really couldn't. Yeah, you could. Okay. No, no, no. We, we, we can't accept it. Yes, we can. No, Helen, and we you, could do you, it a little more graciously. Listen, you, you really don't want this uh, ring. I do. No, take it off. Joe. Don't make me use the butter. <laughs> You. She she has no right to give you that. What are you talking Don't about? Don't you see what she's trying to do? She's trying to make me look like an idiot. No, honey, you're doing that all by yourself. <laughs> look, uh, uh, Helen, as your future husband, I demand that you give her back that ring. You demand it? He demands. Maybe I should go. Maybe we should go. No, don't. All right. Helen, I can explain. <laughs> I just saw what happened with Helen. Look, if you need to talk, get out of here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Every year at this time, we count our blessings at Walmart. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We're thankful we get to live in a country where freedom has no bounds. We wish you a Merry Christmas. But most especially, we're thankful for the people who make our jobs possible. And a happy new year. To all our vendor partners who bring us our great products, and to all our wonderful customers who buy them, may this be the merriest Christmas of all. And may all your Christmases be white. Ice cold milk. Help yourself. There are millions of hungry people in this country. Fortunately, there are also millions of American Express Card members. Help us raise $5 million by December 31st, because the charge against hunger is on again. Wings will be back in a moment on NBC. Next, it's an all-new Something Wilder. You're holding a tool. Gene becomes Mr. Fix-It and fires the contractor. He thinks it's funny. But when things go wrong, how far will Gene go to hire him back? Who's gonna sing your part? Gene will. All right! A soulful all-new Something Wilder, NBC Next. Super pretzels. Microwavable soft pretzels. Fat-free, cholesterol-free, warm, soft, delicious. They really hit the spot, usually. Super pretzels, soft pretzels, in your grocer's freezer. Everything's going so fast nowadays. Everything, especially toilet paper. Toilet paper? Hmm, but not anymore. No? Now there's new Summit 1100, the slow roll. Slow roll? Very slow and very soft, but slow because with 1100 sheets, nothing goes further than Summit 1100s. It seems to take forever to reach the end of the roll. When did I change it last? New Summit 1100s. In these fast times, there's no roll like the slow roll. 
You can create miracles, one deed, one person, even one penny at a time. The volunteers have collected over $400,000. Isn't pennies. that fabulous? We're going to show you what you can do Tomorrow at 4 o'clock. WBRE TV. A word from the new Dodge. With its standard 132 horsepower, 16 valve engine, Dodge Neon is the kind of high-spirited pal we could all use. Your friendly Dodge dealer will be happy to demonstrate. The new Dodge. A word from the new Dodge. To those who assume Dodge Neon is just a free spirit, we'd like to point out its responsible side. Rest assured, your friendly Dodge dealer has one for you. The new Dodge. Be a wheel watcher weeknights at 7 on WBRE TV. What? Look, Helen, about the ring, I can explain. No, you can't. I... I know you don't care for Casey, but there's nothing that you can say to excuse your behavior right, tonight. You want an excuse? Here it is. My life began the moment you said you'd marry me. You made me happier than I ever thought I could be. Please take this damn ring as a symbol of my love. Joe. That's what this evening was about? You planned it so that you... Oh, I love you. Yeah, well, I'm still mad. <laughs> Getting less mad. Mm, less mad. Mm, mm, feeling good. Mm. Mm. Listen, Helen, I, I would have given you the ring on another night, but I knew how much you'd want it on our anniversary. Our anniversary? Yeah, of our first kiss. It is? <laughs> I thought only women remember that stuff. That is such a stereotype. <laughs> Come here. I don't want to ever fight again. I don't even know who started it. It's Casey started it. <laughs> what? There's nothing. What'd you say? Look, I, you know, I just think she shouldn't have given you that ring without checking with me first. Yeah, I know, but she didn't mean anything by it. Why are you making excuses for her? She's been all over you ever since she got it. She ruined our night. Yeah, well, what am I going to do now? <laughs> Stand up to her. I will, someday. But right now, I need to bring her her tea before it gets cold. <laughs> Helen, look, enough. Enough with Casey. This is our night. I have a bottle of champagne at home on ice. That sounds so much better. Helen, where do you keep the better linens? Oh, sorry. No, actually, come on down. I, I wanted to talk to you anyway. Um, this ring is so beautiful. Thank you so much, but I can't accept it. Why? Because Joe gave me this engagement ring. Oh, my, what a practical choice. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing. It'll be your very own Hope Diamond. Just hold it up and hope people can see it. <laughs> Let her rip. No. Ever since you came here, you've been making these little comments about my hair, about my accent, about my fiancé, and his tiny little ring. Hey. I'm sorry, honey, I love it. <laughs> Maybe I don't have the perfect life or the perfect house. Or the perfect one carat ring. Uh, two carats. Two carats. Helen. <laughs> oh, you know, I think you're being ridiculous. Well, maybe I am, but you know what? I don't care. Maybe I don't have the perfect life, but it's my life. And I think it's pretty damn good. I'm sick and tired of your little backhanded comments and your put downs. I'm not your fat little sister, and I'm not going to take it from you anymore. You finished? I'm finished. <laughs> yes, I am. Let's go, Joe. Well, then, good night. Casey. Oh, let's just let her digest that. <laughs> Casey, I, I didn't. Stuart mean... left me. What? Would you like to hear how perfect my life is? <laughs> Well, 
A couple months ago, Stuart said, let's sell everything, buy a boat, and sail around the world. I should have known something was wrong because he hates the water. And once we went to one of those cheap adult motels to try to revive our sex life, and Stuart got seasick on the waterbed. <laughs> There went my chance of having an orgasm that year. Hey, hey. <laughs> you know, at first I told him, I can't just sail off. I have responsibilities. Mm -hmm. I was in charge of the fajita bar at my golf club's annual Let's Get Teed Off at Hunger Day. <laughs> you know, then I thought, why not sail off? People think I'm interesting. Oh. In the morning, we were supposed to leave. Stuart said he wanted me to take a picture of him at the helm, so I stood on the dock, and suddenly he just shoved off. Well, this is the last that I ever saw of him. He's waving goodbye. That's the happiest looking man I've ever seen. <laughs> He took it off. You know, I have no home, no money, no husband. Casey. You know what, Casey? I, I think that what you need is really a, a good night's sleep. So uh, Helen and I will get out of your hair and let you. I can't leave her. No, her husband just left her. She's fallen apart. She's disgraced. She's just humiliated. Aren't you, honey? <laughs> In fact, you can stay here as long as it takes for you to get yourself back together and on your feet again. Uh, what kind of time frame are we talking about here? This is as long as it takes. Oh. oh, I don't know what I would do without you. I don't know how to thank you. Oh, you don't be ridiculous. You're my sister. Joe, you have been so sweet and so understanding. What can I say? No problem. After all, we're almost family. <laughs> well, thanks, you guys. Oh, Helen, you're so lucky to have a guy like Joe. I know. Really successful guys end up leaving you. <laughs> Everybody's after wants to meet us for dinner. Can you be ready in 10 minutes? Think fast. Think the compact Norelco Speed Razor. Why show up at a 7 p.m. meeting with a 7 a.m. shave? The Norelco Speed Razor. Close and comfortable to go. Are those for Santa? I happen to know that the jolly one is partial to this chocolate. Besides, he is leaving me a bevy of Yuletide booty. Oh, you were good. No. That's what the M&Ms are for. Oh. oh. Sinus sufferers, how come your pill doesn't relieve sinus pressure 24 hours? Epidac 24 does. Other pills last 6 hours or 12, but one Epidac relieves 24 hours. Epidac, keep sinus pressure from coming back. This week, People unveils the 25 most intriguing people of 1994. Who burst on the scene, who made a comeback, and who might be gone for good. Plus, dramatic feuds and touching farewells. All in this week's year-end double issue of People. Pick it up today. When it's the last shot, you better make it count. Because in the end, you've got no one to answer to but yourself. And those on your shopping list. It's Ames Last Chance Sale, Wednesday only. Get 50% off all sweaters and outerwear, 20% off all intimate apparel, 25% off all toys, and 70 to 75% off all fine jewelry. This is one basket they'll never forget. Ames Last Chance Sale, Wednesday only. Let the shopping begin. Wednesday, thousands have vanished here. Now, startling footage reveals where they went. Richard Crenna unlocks the Bermuda Triangle secrets. 8, 7 Central, NBC Wednesday. 
Joe and Helen make wedding plans next week on Wings. Look, Casey, when we first met, I was so overwhelmed by your absolute beauty. Words escaped me. So please, let's start all over. Hello, uh, I'm Antonio. I'm honored to meet you. I think you're ready to talk to her. <laughs> Hi, is Helen around? Clear, clear. <laughs> Now an all new something wilder on NBC's Comedy Tuesday. Oh, yes, definitely over 50. No, not in very good shape. Well, yes, there's there's a bit of sagging in quite a few places. Well, everything still works. I, I, I would really like you to take a look at it and just give me your opinion. Now, wait. <laughs> Come here, now. Dr. Sheldon, listen to me. Now, you know that Annie is a worrier. I'm fine. I'm really fine, except for that slight irregularity that we talked about. <laughs> Excuse me a moment. This isn't Dr. Sheldon. No, it's not. It's Mrs. Thornton from the Historical Society, and I was talking about the house. <laughs> Mrs. Thornton? I'm going to pass you back to Annie now. More brand. Thank you. Mrs. Thorne, where were we? Hey, Gene. Hi, Caleb. Just take it off into the living room. Oh, right this way. Would you like some coffee? Oh, I'd love some. Morning. Morning. Are you? Are they, are they twins? Who? The guys with the board. What board? I'm messing with you. I have more fun with those guys. Hey, Mrs. Thornton's going to come by to inspect the house on Sunday. I think we got a good shot at getting landmarks. Honey, I don't want some old busybody sticking her nose into our business. Gene, if we get approved, there's a tax break and money for renovations. Sunday's good. <laughs> He's in the living room, honey. You want to go watch the workmen work? No, I need someone to fix my fire truck. Oh, you want me to fix it? No. <laughs> Why not? Because Caleb is going to fix things. Oh, well, so is Daddy. No, he's not. <laughs> no, give it to me. I'll show you I can fix that. Let's see what's wrong. Oh, this is simple. All you need is a little super glue on here. Whenever you have anything that you want fixed, you can always come to Daddy. I'll show you how you do this. We spread super glue all around this area here, see? Uh -huh. Then you take the wheel, put it where it belongs, a couple more squirts for good measure, get it under there, and then press down real hard so that it'll last you for a lifetime. Squeeze! And that... I did it. What'd you do? I changed the tire. What? You had a flat? No, no. I just wanted to see if I could still do it, and I can't. <laughs> you know, a lot of guys in midlife crisis buy a Porsche. I'm not having a midlife crisis. I'm just having... Porsche is a beautiful machine. <laughs> the Carrera. Mm. <laughs> you know, I used to be very handy when I was younger. That's good. Is there a point floating around in here somewhere? Yeah. When your kids were little, did they used to come to you for things? Oh, yeah, all the time. Money. No, I mean before that. They used to look to me for everything. Well, sure, when they were young. But sooner or later, they're going to find new heroes. First, it's that big yellow bird on TV. And then it's a little blonde girl who lets them get to second base. Selma Davies. Mary Alice Murphy. Mm. <laughs> and then... Uh, Baseball players and uh, rock stars, followed in close succession by wives, hookers, shrinks, and cocaine. <laughs> well, at least that's the way it was with my boys. One day, they come to you for everything. The next, they run to Caleb to fix a fire truck. Well, what do you expect? The kids learn from what they see. They see Caleb doing all the work around the house while you sit on your duff and write checks. Maybe you're right. Hey, 
That could be it. Maybe if they saw me fixing things around the house, they'd come to me, and I can do it. I fixed the tire, didn't I? You fixed something that wasn't broken. That doesn't count. <laughs> what? What are you doing, Jim? I'm going to show you that I can fix a real flat tire. You're going to flatten your own tire? You're insane. Who said anything about my tire? <laughs> What's wrong with this picture? What? You're holding a tool. I'm replacing all the downstairs doorknobs. Aren't we paying Caleb to do that? Not anymore, not at $27.50 a doorknob. Look at this estimate he gave. $150 to install shower rod and curtain? Why can't I do those things? Well, for starters, it took you a year to put the boys' jungle gym together. Yeah, but you gotta admit, they love playing in that big box. Gee, how can I put this delicately? You're not mechanical. Are you kidding? I changed two tires today. Changing two tires is not fixing a house. Well, I don't have a chance to fix the house. Caleb is fixing everything around here. Wouldn't it be a good idea if I did some of the things that we're paying him for? We can't lose Caleb. He's the most sought-after contractor in town. I know that, but I'm the father of this house. I want to fix things. I want to set a good example for my kids. Can't we wait until after we're registered with the Historical Society? I mean, that way, if you mess up, it this I'm not going to mess things. up. See, this is the problem. If you don't think I can do these things, how do you expect our kids to? Why can't you just have a little faith in me? Oh, I do have faith in you. I always have faith in you. Okay. You're in charge. See this? One doorknob replaced, no big catastrophe. Mm -hmm. Who said that I wasn't good with my hands? Oh, well, certainly not me. <laughs> Oh, just the guy I'm looking for. I'm gonna need you to write me a check for more lumber. Uh, Caleb, could you have a seat, please? A seat? Uh-uh, no way. Why not? Last time I had a seat in here, you talked me into putting together your kid's jungle gym. <laughs> Do me a favor, please. Um, I don't know quite how to say this. Annie and I have been talking this over. Oh, God. And we've decided that we want to find a way to have you do less work around the house. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not that we don't appreciate your work. We're going to recommend you to everyone we know. You guys can be honest. Are you getting somebody cheaper to replace me? Well, yes. Who? Me. No, really. <laughs> really? Gene's going to take over. I'm not laughing at you. Okay, now. I better get going, guys. Well, maybe I'll see you at the hardware store sometime. It's not that funny. <laughs> Now, boys, there'll be a couple of times in your lives when we're going to have man-to-man -man talks. One of them's going to be in about ten years from now. Maybe a little sooner, if Mother will do it. And the other begins today. What we have here is man's best friend, the toolbox. Now, is there anybody in this room who can tell me what this is? A hammer. Excellent! <laughs> and this? Sensational! You are a very gifted child. Now, our first job of the day, putting a hook on the bathroom door for Mama's robe. Regardez, s'il vous plaît. Hook. Door. Adhesive. And voila! Vous comprenez? Oui. So far, we are batting a thousand. Now, our next job, installing this shower curtain. Gabe, would you help me stretch this out across the room, please? That's it. Grab one end. Pull it Daddy, all the way across. Hmm? What's that dripping? Where? Oh, that's nothing. That's just a little leak. Nothing that Daddy can fix. Gabe, would you hand me Mr. Renzer, please? Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Renzer. Well, it's very close. Now, all I have to do is turn this a little bit. 
It's all right. It's all right, boys. It's not a biggie. All I have to do is give it one more little yank like that. It's a biggie! It's a biggie! Help! Help! Help me, somebody! Is someone special expecting something special from you? Disappoint them. Send it express mail. Overnight delivery starting at just $9.95. Even on Christmas Day. Express mail from your post office. It's a full moon tonight. Perfect night for a walk. Sounds great. That smells nice. Okay, let's go. Uh, on second thought, why don't we just stay in? If you like red, you'll love a little sexy by Designer Imposters. <clears throat> Throat need soothing? <clears throat> Reach for new celestial seasoning soothers. Real fruit juice flavor in all natural herbal throat drops. Not too sweet, not too strong. Sore throat relief that's just right. Celestial seasoning soothers. We took the scent of country wildflowers and brought it to life. Introducing Glade Plug-In's Nightlight in a new design and fresh new scent. Plug it in, plug it in. 45 days of freshness, new Plug-In's Nightlight. Plug it in. The whole Cornish head. Look, you're on track. Unlike those clowns yesterday who brought in some guy in a chicken suit. <laughs> Lose a chicken. <laughs> Introducing the Memo Express pager from Motorola for the messages you can't afford to miss. Friday, a network television premiere. Who would you get to reunite your parents in time for Christmas? We really gotta talk. But to fulfill this wish, the big guy's gonna need a little help. Now it's Christmas. Ah! Leslie Nielsen, Lauren Bacall, Kevin Nealon. Your family is waiting. A network premiere. Santa. All I want for Christmas at a special time, NBC Friday. No problem. Daddy's got this completely under control. Hand me a screwdriver. Boys, hand me a screwdriver. I have a better idea. Let's play a little game. Let's see who can fill up the most cups of water and dump them into the bathtub. Ready? Let's go. And if Mommy asks about the bathroom, just tell her about that nice book we hung on the door. Well, she asked about the flood. Well, you can tell her about the flood, or you can have ice cream tomorrow for dinner. Ice cream! Keep pumping! What am I paying you guys for? Oh, you're right, Mrs. Bergman. The original oak molding has held up amazingly well. Oh, and you should see the wood paneling we have in the hallway upstairs. Oh, Jean! 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 Uh, why don't you come and meet Mrs. Thornton from the Historical Society? She dropped by early. Lovely to meet you, lovely. Oh, uh -huh. Hello. We have uh, coffee with us. Oh, yes, please do. Why are you wet? Well, I just took these out of the dryer, but it's broken. It's all right. It's the next thing I'm going to fix. Oh, all right. Well, I'll, I'll go get those blueprints. Mr. Bergman, I would be curious to know why you feel your house should be listed with the historical society. Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Just take a look around. All of these old houses are... dripping... dripping... Um, dripping with history and oozing with architectural... architecture. And... Um, you know, fly. <laughs> Must have come in from the barn. Did Daddy tell you about the barn? No. Quick! Ah. Mm. Look, do you know the famous Norman Rockwell painting called The Barn? No. Hmm? No. It's over there, dear. Oh. Over there. Uh, it's one of the main reasons we bought this house, and it's lovely, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. Oh. Here I am. Oh. <laughs> I had a feeling rose was your color, and I was right, wasn't I? Mr. Bergman, is something wrong? Wrong? No, not at all. I'm just thrilled at the thought of being listed with your historical society. Okay, I did. I found the blueprints right here. I'll get us the coffee. What was that? What was what, dear? Something hit my head. Oh, that was me. I was just tossing grapes. <clears throat> Trying to catch up my mouth. Oh. One of them must have hit you in the head. <laughs> Julie, why are you doing that? <laughs> Our wine cellar dates back to the 1900s. Oh, well, actually, I'd prefer to sit down. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a lovely wicker rocker down there. Why don't you go? The hook 
went without a hitch. When did the hitch happen? Well, as soon as the water pipe broke. Did you turn the water valve off on the water pipe? The mm -hmm. the I don't care if it is Sunday. You call Caleb right now and you get him over here. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly, uh, uh, it's Jean. Is Caleb there? It's an emergency. He's he's where? Oh no! Thank you. Hello, is anyone there? Door knob seems to be broken. <laughs> Take every woman, every man, and raise a candle's light. And join our hands and hopes together, make this seat. Let a gift from FDD warm up the holidays. Send the FDD Starlight Bouquet with a handcrafted candle holder. Or the beauty and music of the FDD Joy to the World Bouquet with a cassette of Christmas carols. Exclusive gifts delivered by hand, sent with love from you. See your FDD florist or call one near you at 1-800-FTD-2222. How fast can you begin to feel relief from a cold? Depends. How fast can you open a Halls with Vapor Action? Halls Vapor Action means instant action. Only from the Halls of Medicine. No matter how old your furniture may be, keep it looking young with Pledge, with cleansing conditioners. For beautiful wood you won't get with regular dusting. Pledge, for beautiful wood every time you dust. Something Wilder will be right back on NBC. Next, it's the office Christmas party, and Frazier's got amorous admirers. I can take care of myself. Oh, really? I'm ready now, baby. <laughs> then join the festive John Larroquette spreading holiday glee. <laughs> Cheers. Seinfeld. NBC Tonight. Super pretzels. Microwavable soft pretzels. Fat-free, cholesterol-free, warm, soft, delicious. They really hit the spot, usually. Super pretzels, soft pretzels, in your grocer's freezer. When it's the last shot, you better make it count. Because in the end, you've got no one to answer to but yourself. And those on your shopping list. It's Ames Last Chance Sale, Wednesday only. Get 50% off all sweaters and outerwear, 20% off all intimate apparel, 25% off all toys, and 70 to 75% off all fine jewelry. This is one basket they'll never forget. Ames Last Chance Sale, Wednesday only. Let the shopping begin. Have you gotten into Jeopardy lately? Get into Jeopardy. Yes, everyone does get into Jeopardy. Weeknights at 7.30 on WBRE TV. Kay Jewelers presents a holiday shopping tip from Cindy Crawford. Well, guys, it's that time of year again. And I know you want to give the woman you love something very special. The problem is you may not know what to get. Well, here's something that would put a smile on my face. A beautiful diamond tennis bracelet from Kay Jewelers. Show your love this holiday season with a fabulous one carat diamond tennis bracelet from K Jewelers, just $299. Let K Jewelers make you a little more beautiful, too. 40 million pennies and just as many miracles next Oprah. Can I help you? Paul. Uh, I'm looking for someone, but I can't seem to find him. I'm afraid I have a problem that only he can fix. Try looking in your heart, honey. That's the way I usually find him. <laughs> Hallelujah! You don't understand. He's a contractor. Contractor? Now, I don't know what testament you're reading, honey, but in my book, he's a carpenter. <laughs> Water pipe. Where? Upstairs bathroom. You gotta come right away and fix it. Gene, even God rested on the seventh day. But it's leaking in the kitchen. The whole house is gonna flood. Mm -hmm. 
I know I made a terrible mistake in letting you go, but uh, I'll rehire you back right now, please. That higher salary? Are you going to blackmail me in a house of worship? <laughs> hey, even God helps those who help themselves. Okay, okay. <laughs> but hurry, please. Let me get my clothes. Hold this. I'm going to have to leave, Virginia. Something came up. But who's going to sing your part? Jesus. I will. He will. Yeah, who do you think taught me how to sing? Virginia, this man is the world's greatest white gospel singer. Lord, show sure work in mysterious ways. Hey, what are you talking about? I can't sing gospel. You can't fix a pipe either. That didn't stop you. It's all fixed. How much is this going to set me back? Gene, why don't you have a seat? A seat? Uh-uh. No way. <laughs> it's good to be back. It's good to have you back. Yeah, and I want you to know, Gene, that I understand why you did what you did. I mean, I have kids, too. I guess every father has to go through this. Not me. I know how to fix things. <laughs> What's this, my new hourly rate? <laughs> Don't worry, Gene. From what I heard, you can always make extra money singing in the choir. Be all right. Be all right. Be all right. Hi, honey. The boys are almost ready for you to tell me a bedtime story. Sure, they want me now. In a little while, I'm going to be replaced by some cute little blonde girl who's going to let him get to second base. You got to stop going to Jack for parenting tips. <laughs> honey, I'm serious. Boys don't care about the stuff you can't do. They only care about the stuff you can do. You know, all I ever wanted was for them to look up to me. Oh, you've got to get over this. If I let it get to me every time, what, I burned the kids' toasts or left one of them in a store, I'd drive myself crazy. Every time I look at those four little eyes, left them in a store. Well, it's not as if I didn't go back the next day. Oh, good. Are you guys finally ready for bed? Not a bus drive yet. Why not? The toothpaste just stuck. Oh, it's not stuck, sweetheart. You just have to press it from the bottom, not the top. You want mommy to show you how to do it? No, we want daddy to. Oh, I guess they want their daddy to fix it. No, we want you to do something funny with it. Funny? What's that supposed to mean? I don't think I'm funny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go brush your teeth. <laughs> uh, well, I have to admit, you're the funniest daddy I know, too. <laughs> What's that? Oh, my God. Mrs. Thornton. Hello? Jean, hurry up. They'll be here any minute. Where's your nail polish? I gotta run in my stockings. Oh, they'll never notice. Just pull your knickers down lower. <laughs> Are you sure getting landmark status is worth all this? I feel a little foolish. At least you don't have to wear a scarlet letter. <laughs> Will you pin this on me, please? 
How come you get to be something fun like an adulteress? I'm stuck in a minivan driving around the block yelling, the British are coming, the British are coming. Oh, look at you. Now, you look pretty cute and tight. <laughs> what you doing after the revolution, big guy? You're trying to earn yourself another scarlet letter? <laughs> Welcome, you weary travelers. Ye, Jean, ye. Ye weary travelers. We are thy humble pilgrim hosts. We are happy to have you in our historic home. Please note the original pegwood floors, rough-hewn beams, and crown moldings. Smile cheerfully and gesture with hands. <laughs> That's a direction. <laughs> and now, Let's move on to the living room, which, in the old days, they called the great room. <laughs> the hell are they doing in there? Hey, ye break it, ye buy it. <laughs> All right, calm down. They'll be out of here really soon, and then we'll have our tax-deductible house to ourselves. Oh, so good of you to come. Uh, God speed ye. God speed ye all. <laughs> Fairly well. Oh. Alone at last. <sighs> you and me. And 58 yards of gabardine. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Jean? What are you doing? Jean. Where are the boys? The boys are outside churning butter. They'll be busy for hours. So will I. I'll never get this dress off. How did the founding fathers become fathers in the first place? I don't know. Are you suggesting that we retire to the bedchamber for... What's Puritan for a quickie? I believe they called it a quicket. As long as you're not too quickest. longer can he last on that battery? You know, he just doesn't get it. Duracell batteries outlast all other brands. Hey, Larry, sometime today? Larry Doty for the birdie. Yeah. <gasps> huh. Hooked it. That should cost him a stroke. Herb. Okay, I'll get him down. Herb. The copper top. Tops them all. Oh, that Giorgio smells great. I'm not wearing Giorgio. It's Primo. At a fraction of the price, Primo smells just like Giorgio. I didn't know you wore Primo, Sally. I'm not Sally. I'm Natasha. Designer imposters, only from Parfum Decor. Let us celebrate this supper with merriment, with song, with crescent rolls. Did someone forget the crescent rolls? Don't worry, because they're right here. Pillsbury Crescent Rolls are one tradition you don't want to forget this Christmas. So warm and flaky, they've got that fresh-from-the-oven taste everybody loves. Make sure you remember them at your Christmas feast. And we're thankful for this delicious food. Let's eat! <laughs> <laughs> Mercy Medical Airlift just approved Sudafed Sinus for flight crews on duty. Approved because Sudafed Sinus relieves headache, pain, and nasal congestion with no drowsy side effects. Sudafed Sinus clears you up without slowing you down. Yeah, I'm 36. And if I see one more gorgeous 18-year-old trying to sell me wrinkle cream, I'm gonna scream. There's so many beautiful women of all ages, much older than me. <laughs> I think I'm beautiful. Oil of Olay, so sheer, so light. It penetrates quickly to boost skin's moisture renewal process, reducing the look of fine lines and wrinkles. You know, if it can make me look gorgeous, I think even Princess has a chance. <laughs> a lifetime of beautiful skin. Oil of Olay. An NBC Christmas family special. For the first time ever, you'll be there as Santa gets ready to blast off. Start the countdown. Ten. Countdown to Christmas, Saturday. Eight. 
Tonight on The Tonight Show, Jay welcomes actress Juliette Lewis and Melissa Etheridge. The Tonight Show men will teach you how to fight off sexual harassment from Demi Moore. And later this week, Jim Carrey, NBC Tonight. Catch Something Wilder, Tuesdays on NBC. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. From all of us at Something Wilder, have a joyous holiday season. Yay! Razors coming up next on NBC. Well, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all the very, very best of holidays. <laughs> take every woman, every man, and raise a candle's light. Let a gift from FTD warm up the holidays. Send the FTD Starlight Bouquet with a handcrafted candle holder or the beauty and music of the FTD Joy of the World Bouquet with a cassette of Christmas carols. Exclusive gifts delivered by hand, sent with love from you. See your FTD florist or call one near you at 1-800-FTD-2222. Think healthy, shiny hair like this only happens in the movies? Nah. It can happen every day with Pantene Pro-V. Because Pantene gets right to the root, where healthy hair begins. My hair wasn't always so glamorous, but Pantene's pro-vitamin formula penetrates from the top of the root to the tip, improving every strand. Hair this good deserves a close-up. Pantene Pro-V shampoo and conditioner. For hair so healthy, it shines. Pro-vitamins. I know they're in there. It's double wishbone suspension elevates your feel of the road. Its multi-valve engine and speed-sensitive steering elevate your sense of control, while its looks, well, they will elevate your mood. Introducing the all-new Dodge Avenger. It's more than just a car. It's an elevator. It was Thursday before Christmas, and on NBC, a night of great comedy, all must-see TV. Yeah, yeah! With Mad About You, and those chummy friends, and Lois Lane on Seinfeld, the fun never ends. Yeah, yeah! Then, more Mad About You, what a bonus. Great stuff, a merry Thursday for all. Yeah! All right, that's enough. <laughs> Joe Montana, everybody's football hero, from Notre Dame to his glory years in the NFL. Could this be his final game? A look at his legendary career, Saturday. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! <laughs> this holiday season... You got no spark. What? You have no spark. It doesn't take a real genius to fall in love. He's a mechanic. Pop, pop, pop. It was electric. He's cracking up. But it helps. Yes? You're Albert Einstein. Puts the two right people together and watch them fall in love. Jiving. Meg Ryan, Tim Robbins, Walter Matthau. Wahoo! Wahoo? When was the last time you went Wahoo? IQ rated PG starts Christmas Day at theaters everywhere. Is someone special expecting something special from you? Don't disappoint them. Send it express mail. Overnight delivery starting at just $9.95. Even on Christmas Day. Express mail from your post office. Frazier continues in a moment on NBC. On NBC Next, join a festive John Larroquette, spreading holiday glee to all. Cheers. Seinfeld. NBC Next. From Cindy Crawford to Naomi Campbell, models are taking it all off. They're not doing it for money. They say they're doing it to save lives. Fur Fight, Dateline, tonight. 
share the season with special taste sensations, like the sweet, succulent flavor of Wegmans Foods You Feel Good About Cooked Shrimp. Truly the world's best. Nearly half the sodium and no preservatives, just thaw and serve. You and your guests will appreciate the quality and delicious taste. Wegmans, helping you share the season is what giving you our best really means. Pennsylvania lottery tickets make great gifts, like the $5 Happy Holidays game with the $100,000 top prize. Happy Holidays. And best wishes from the lottery. This holiday season, you'll see Nicole Miller in basic black, Darrow and Verici in supple Italian leather, Gianfranco Ferre in elegant handbags, and Stuart Weitzman and Delman in pumps, flats, and boots plus countless other gift ideas from the store with a holiday style all its own. Unmistakably bold. Unmistakably bewitching. Downtown Scranton. Be a wheel watcher weeknights at 7 on WBRE-TV. Sorry, I didn't realize that when I volunteered to work on Christmas there, I would rule. We sold over one million new Dodge cars and trucks in 1994. And to celebrate our best retail sales year ever, we're offering up to $1,147 in savings and values on Dodge Intrepid. $500 cash back on America's number one selling minivan, Dodge Caravan, plus a $700 discount on Dodge Ram Diesel. Now, during the Dodge Thanks a Million celebration. Going on now at your Dodge dealer. Hurry in today. It's that time of year again. A fruitcake? Yes. Remarkably like the one I gave you last year. A time for friendship. <laughs> Somebody's not in a holiday mood, I guess. <laughs> Fellowship. Merry Christmas. You're out. How am I going to tell the people who work with me that they don't have jobs anymore? Ah, oh, you're fired. It works for me. And merriment. What a sad and horrible Christmas Eve. <laughs> TriStar Pictures presents the comedy that puts the joy back in the holidays. Mixed Nuts. Rated PG-13. At theaters Wednesday. The Mega Meal from KFC is back. That's like Mega Meal. Enough food to feed your whole family. <laughs> or one Tasmanian devil. Oops. All for just $14.99. And this week, get a Bugs Mug for just $1.99 with every Mega Meal at KFC. There are millions of hungry people in this country. Fortunately, there are also millions of American Express Card members. Help us raise $5 million by December 31st, because the charge against hunger is on again. There are only a few days left to wrap up your holiday shopping. And JCPenney is the perfect place to do it. We're boxing up job suits, wrapping up thrones, packing up jeans, and saving you a bundle. We're putting out more gifts in more sizes and colors every single day. With the right gifts at the right price, JCPenney can help you tie things up for the holidays. There's no doubt about it, ER is the smash hit of the year. If you're not watching, you're missing out. Big time. All right, people, showtime. Let's move. We're going to fix you right up. Okay, we got to get her to the OR now. You have no right to even think about doing this. What do we do now? Must see TV, ER, NBC Thursday. Friday, a network television premiere. Who would you get to reunite your parents in time for Christmas? We really gotta talk. But to fulfill this wish, the big guy's gonna need a little help. Now it's Christmas. <laughs> Leslie Nielsen, Lauren Bacall, Kevin Nealon. Your family is waiting. A network premiere. Thank you, Santa. All I want for Christmas at a special time, NBC Friday. Join us again next week for another episode of Frasier. Hey, baby, I hear the blues are calling. Toss salads and scrambled eggs. Quite stylish. And maybe I seem a bit confused. Well, maybe. But I got you pegged. <laughs> but I don't know what to do with those tossed salads and scrambled eggs. They're calling again. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. 
from all of us at Frasier. Happy Holidays! The John Lara Ketch Show is next on NBC. Zap the mow mow, little and it's a security building with gated underground parking. I don't drive. Really? How come? The police told me not to. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, anyway, as you can see, it's a beautiful apartment. I think you'd be very happy here. Oh, Mr. Collier, it's gorgeous. I mean, I really, really love it. Uh, my only problem is that I, it, it, I think it may be a little outside of my price range. Well, it's very fairly priced for the area and the amenities. No, I, I understand. Um, I'm going to have to think about it get back to you, okay, sir? Oh, hello, Miss Merrick. Hey, Tom. Listen, would you check that shower head for me? There's one jet that sprays ice-cold water down my back. It's a thrill, but I could live without it. I'll have it fixed today. <laughs> Thanks. I'll take it. <laughs> See this? They didn't tell me about it. Is this new? This is OS2 Warp. This isn't what you're used to using. Word processor, spreadsheet, communications program, personal information manager, manager, database. Yeah. Everything you need packaged in. Cool. All of those are running right now at the same time. Multitasking. So many things. Record and playback video. Yeah, I think it obliterates the software I use right now. Yeah. OS2 Warp, a totally cool way to run your computer. Welcome to your 40s. Yes, your 40s. You'll probably need a little more belt, a little more time, and a pair of bifocals. But wait, there's hope. Ask your doctor about AccuView for Monovision, the contact lens fitting technique that lets you wear contacts instead of bifocals or reading glasses. AccuView for Monovision, disposable contacts that can dispose of bifocals. Let us celebrate this supper with merriment, with song, with crescent rolls. Did someone forget the crescent rolls? <laughs> don't worry, they're right here. Pillsbury crescent rolls are one tradition you don't want to forget this Christmas. So warm and flaky, they've got that fresh from the oven taste everybody loves. Make sure you remember them at your Christmas feast. And we're thankful for this delicious food. Let's eat. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday, thousands have vanished here. Now, startling footage reveals where they went. Richard Crenna unlocks the Bermuda Triangle secrets. 8, 7 Central, NBC Wednesday. So, what's new with you? Oh, not much. Got some issues today. Had my nails done. And made a decision which will fundamentally change my life. What kind of choose? <laughs> what would change your life that much? I quit my job. <gasps> no kidding! Nope. From now on, I'm a respectable member of the community. Oh, I think that's great. To tell you the truth, I always hated that job. Oh, were you a hooker? <laughs> no, I'm, I mean, I hated you having that job. So why did you decide to stop? Promise me this stays between us? Oh, I swear, I cross my heart and hope to die. I slept with John. <laughs> I gotta tell Jean. Mahela! <laughs> Tell me everything. It was only one time a couple of months ago, and anyway, afterwards, I decided I couldn't go on the way I had been. He's that good? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was beyond physical, and, I, and that's the whole thing. I mean, I started to feel something again, some emotion I had forgotten about. It sounds like love. Uh, I don't know, and he's not aware of any of this. So, let's just keep it between us, okay? Okay. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, hello, yourself. Oh. No, I was speaking to the both of you. It is a beautiful night, and it is filled with beautiful women. I don't care what you say, Carly. Trust me, he's in love with you. <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> Dexter! <laughs> Sit down, Hampton. <laughs> These guys think they get the corner on the rhythm market, right? Wrong! When I was a kid, my nickname was Jazzbo. Jazzbo Hampton. When they started saying I'm black and I'm proud, I said I'm white and I'm out of sight. Well, you're still white. But now I can see you. See him? Hell, you could show Lawrence of Arabia on him. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, we're going on a 
stakeout. Three days we keep a lookout for this major league scum bucket. George Steinbrenner? <laughs> hey, don't show. It's a tough job. It takes hundreds of hours of focus and concentration. How do you stand the monotony? I sleep. <laughs> Well, this is the last one. Oh, John, he's a wonderful place. He's so bright. I know, isn't it? And you know what? There's a toilet right here in the apartment. <laughs> what a luxury. Oh, Mahalia, I have turned over a new leaf. These are better days. Huh. Sounds like there's a woman involved here. Could be. Too soon to tell. It's good to see you like this. I showed up in St. Louis a year ago. Broke, drunk. Now I'm sober. I've got a tiny little bit of success. And I owe $7,000. <laughs> so, you want to tell me about this new romance of yours? It's not a romance. There is this woman who I would like to get to know a little better. I know. You know what? That there is a woman like that, or, or a man out there for anyone. Oh, I gotta go. Well, I'm going to buy you dinner. Got over $7 left. Just give me the cash. Failure. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I see you at work. Uh-huh. Bye, co-worker. <laughs> Co-worker, friend, help me uh, buy all my new furniture. Huh? Yeah, just a friend. Mm -hmm. Hi. 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 Oh, here they are. Keys and dreamers. They always seem to end up in the bottom. <laughs> I'm um, John Hemingway, by the way, your new neighbor. Oh, Catherine Merrick. Hi. Hi. So it's you and your... um. Family? Goldfish. <laughs> you? Not even goldfish. <laughs> I'm the uh, manager of the Crossroads bus terminal downtown. Um, graveyard shift. Oh, me too. Well, county general emergency room, graveyard shift. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> well. Well, see you. Yeah, nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Would you, um, like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? Be my first full night in the place. Uh, I hate eating alone. I've heard all my own stories. <laughs> I've never quite figured out how to cook pasta for one. Sure, okay. <laughs> okay, how about, um, um, oh, um, 8 o'clock? 8 o'clock, good. All right, fine. Okay. See ya. You do exist. <laughs> Shop to win in the Discover Card Big Payback. That's what Shig Ura did. She just won 50 grand in our weekly bonus prize drawing. You could be a winner, too. Every time you use your card, you're automatically entered in the big payback. So keep shopping, because we'll be dropping more $50,000 bonus prizes before the ultimate $1 million grand prize. It pays to discover. The card with the big payback. Cake Creations, new from Baskin Robbins. It's all over for chunky beef with country vegetables. Now there's an even chunkier chunky beef with country vegetables, with more big chunks of beef and more hearty vegetables, so it's more satisfying. After all, chunky's good, but chunkier's better. The John Larroquette Show will be right back on NBC. From Cindy Crawford to Naomi Campbell, models are taking it all off. They're not doing it for money. They say they're doing it to save lives. Fur Fight, Dateline, next. Think these are TV shows? They're not. They're commercials, and Americans are spending billions on these products. Why are we so hooked? Get close, get answers on NBC Nightly News tomorrow.
specials. In Sawako's quality standing beef rib roast, $2.99 a pound. Turkey Hill ice cream, $1.99. Nabisco snack crackers, two for $3. Palio ricotta, $1.49 after mail-in rebate. Keller's butter, 99 cents. And don't miss the outdoor fish market. The tradition continues through December 24th with the freshest seafood in the world. Happy holidays. Say hello to me. At first glance, the Mercedes C-Class is impressive. But if you look a little closer, it becomes remarkable. Anti-lock brakes, more powerful headlamps, eight-speaker sound system. Oh yes, and an electric sunroof. Test drive the C-Class at your authorized Mercedes dealer. Want to save some time in the morning? How about ironing your shirt and pants together? Walking your dog as you dry your hair? Or exercising while getting dressed? If you really want to save time, let McDonald's save the morning with delicious extra value meals. They're quick and easy to get. They come with your choice of a large coffee or small Minute Maid orange juice. And this one's just $1.99. And no special skills are needed to get one. What you want is what you get at McDonald's today. 40 million pennies and just as many miracles next Oprah. Hey, Dexter, you gotta help me. I'm a nervous wreck here. Is this a guy thing? Yes. Dr. Zinn, what's up? But not up as the case may be. No. <laughs> no, it's not that. I, I made a date with this woman. That's a good start. She's gonna come to my new place for dinner tomorrow night. That's good. And she lives right across the hall from me? No, no, that's where you're wrong. <laughs> if you wanna dump her, you're gonna have to move. <laughs> That's not what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm full of anxiety here. I don't know why. What happened to Mr. Charming, Mr. Witty? I was never charming and witty. Vodka was. <laughs> Look, she'll probably hate you anyway. Big deal. It's not the end of the world. <sighs> you're right. I see what you're saying. You're saying, imagine the worst thing that can happen and realize that even that wouldn't kill me, right? No. I'm saying you're ugly and she's gonna hate you. <laughs> yeah. You got time for a little business? Yes, come in. Oh. What's up? Well, for one thing, the bar is for sale. Whoa! Really, I bought a bar once. One drink at a time. <laughs> Do you need to sign these requisition slips? Here you are. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, how's it going there, Romeo? Romeo? I hear he's got it bad. Is this true? Not that it's anyone's business. But you remember that woman I told you about? Yes, I remember. I asked her out for dinner tomorrow night at my place. Oh, I think that's great. So, what's your name? <laughs> Is it possible for me to have any privacy around here? <laughs> Not really. You see, we are family around here, John. We all care about each other. It's called friendship. It's called meddling. <laughs> Yeah, it's called that, too. It's like my granddaddy used to say. You stick your nose in somebody else's business, they likely to stick their business right in your nose. Gene, what the hell does that mean? Mm, meant something to him. He said it right after he got his nose blown off. Godly, godly, godly. Hi, what's up? John is in love with you. Oh, I'm so happy for both of you. This is like a new adventure. Okay, okay, I appreciate this, but let's just take this uh, one step at a time, okay? I told you I don't quite trust my feelings yet. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah sure. <laughs> sure. But remember, when you two get married, I'm the maid of honor, okay? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Sure. They won't serve me in there. They say I'm too drunk. Do I look drunk to you? No, you don't. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you think I'm too, like, masculine? Ah, what the hell are you talking about? Uh, been examining my life. Ah, oh, jeez. And you know... <laughs> I like to shoot and fight, like knocking heads together, scaring people, throwing my weight around. You know, being a cop. Yeah, that's what you're trying to get at. So I'm ignoring my other side. 
My feminine side. What's the baby thing again? Uh, it's part of it. Why does every woman want to have a baby? That's what makes it so tough to find a parking spot. <laughs> Don't you have that longing, that deep desire to contribute to life, to help extend not only yourself, but your entire species? You don't feel that. Hey, all I feel is the deep desire for another donut. <laughs> Continue the species. Who the hell are you, freaking Forrest Gump? glad you could make it. Hi, I'm so glad you could make it. I'm so glad you could make it. That's right. Emphasize how glad you are to see her. I'm so glad. It makes me glad. <laughs> Big smile. I'm a moron. <laughs> this is way too seductive. I can't. What am I trying to do here, all right? It's just friends having dinner. A guy and a girl. A guy in his new apartment middle-aged guy who's an alcoholic bus station manager, so desperate he's resorted to classical music and candles. Hi. Hi. You look great. Thanks. The tenth outfit always seems to be the charm. <laughs> Come in, please. How did that get there? <laughs> <laughs> wow, the place looks great. You've seen it before? Oh, just at uh, Bob's garage sale, but he was a hunter, so it uh, consisted largely of small, timid woodland creatures. <laughs> well, I personally captured tonight's pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I brought the wine. Oh, uh, I don't drink. Well, you know what? I'll open it, I'll pour it, you drink. I'll watch. That would be lovely. Coming right up. <laughs> wow, it's so bright in here. It's too bright, isn't it? No, no, it's all right. I'm wearing sunblock. <laughs> sunblock? It's funny. Better? Much better. <sighs> Got that wine. Okay. Wow, great piece. Yeah. Do you mind? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> you like rap? Yeah. It's got such a great energy. And such intelligent lyrics. <laughs> I guess Mozart would be better tonight. Whatever you say. Gee, don't you have a bigger glass? 
No, I'm afraid I don't. Well, um, I'm so glad you can make it. Well, thank you. Cheers. Seinfeld. <laughs> Shall we sit? I'm sorry, yes. I'm very good at that. Oh, me too. <laughs> Look, Catherine, the truth is... Oh, are we ready I... for the truth? Shouldn't we lie to each other for a while? Not a good idea. I've been doing that for years. I'm way too good at it. Okay, go on then. Uh, the truth is that um, I've been very anxious about this evening, and I really uh, wanted to make a good impression. <laughs> you know, when I first met you, I... Actually, when I saw you for the first time out in the hall with Tom, I had the oddest feeling that I already knew you. In fact, that I had known you for a really long time. I had that feeling, too. And that feeling frightens me. Not a lot, but it does. Why? What's your story? Well, it all begins in a small Norwegian fishing village. <laughs> no, not your life story. I mean, what's your thing? What's your secret? It's an odd question. I don't mean to sound all new agey and metaphysical. I hate all that crap. Then please ignore the wind chimes I sent you. <laughs> it's just that some people are sort of like lightning, you know? The, they're nice to look at, but you don't want to get too close to them, and I think that you are like that. Well, kind of like that. Johnny Lightning. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Well, I'm probably wrong. But I don't think so. You base this feeling on what? Intuition? No, I've also got the facts. An attractive, single, presumably heterosexual male, 40-ish, moves into a new apartment and has to buy all new furniture. He uh, reads Sam Beckett, has his radio set to the classical station, lies about liking rap music, and doesn't drink. I come up with an intelligent, albeit tortured soul, sensitive, lonely, maybe on the rebound from a divorce which was caused by attempting to drown the pain of living with booze. How am I doing? Uh, sorry, I didn't hear anything you said after I was attractive. <laughs> Actually, you're pretty close. Although I've been divorced for uh, over a year, my second, incidentally, and I've been sober a year, next Friday. <laughs> okay. So you're dangerous, that's fair. And what about you? Past girlish, a nurse, working the blood and gut shift. Not squeamish, great under pressure, intelligent, recognizes Samuel Beckett. And Mozart, extremely attractive. Loves goldfish and um, timid woodland creatures. <laughs> Probably divorced. Seemingly heterosexual. And is fascinated by lightning. How am I doing? What do you mean, past girlish? <laughs> In full bloom. Better. So. So. How about some dinner? Sounds dangerous. You have no idea. <laughs> Never. The rest of life is interrupting you. What a nice thing to say. I feel nice. I am nice. I'm the Barney the Dinosaur of bus station managers. <laughs> How are you? Excellent. I don't think I've ever felt this good. Really? How come? I quit my job. You quit hooking? Yep. That is wonderful. That makes me so happy. I was always so worried about you out there. Oh. oh. Well, it's all behind me now. Which is a wonderful vantage point, I might add. <laughs> Sit down. Sitting. Oh, I'm hey, sorry. I'll no, no, no. Come on, come on. Does she know? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> the theater is dark. <laughs> And what about you? How come you're so happy? Well, 
When a man feels like this, there can only be one reason, Carly. A woman. That's terrific. I can't wait for you guys to meet Catherine. She's amazing. Catherine? Yeah, she works the uh, graveyard shift at the hospital. She lives right across the hall. It's like fate or something. Yeah, certainly sounds like it. My, my, my. Life, uh, it's funny, yeah? <laughs> That's the truth. I'll be going. I have tons of things to do. All right, darling. It's all timing, isn't it? What is? Um, I'm talking about my new job. It took perfect timing to get. Really? What are you going to be doing? Oh, I'm going to be Miss Kitty. Beg your pardon? About the bar. Call Really, I'm all right. Honest. It's, um, actually, it's a, it's a relief. Are you sure you're not just saying that? No, I'm not. Truthfully, Mahalia, I mean, this will give me a little transition time from my old life to my new one. I told you I was reluctant to start something right away, didn't I? Well, good. I am fine. And this is absolutely for the best. Okay. Come on, buy your drink. I know the owner. <laughs> MCI operator. I have a call from New York. Hi, Uncle Mike. Trish? I have a little surprise for you. Mrs. O'Reilly, I have a call from New York and San Diego. Hello? A call from the United States for Seamus O'Reilly. I'll try and find him. He's in Ireland. This is Meg O'Reilly. Guards, line one. O'Reilly. You're still chasing the bad guy, Sean. Hi, Grandma. <laughs> Who is it? It's everybody. I can't believe this. Hello? Seamus! Who's this? It's up to you. All you have to do is brush your teeth. No brush, no story. With fax, voicemail, speakerphone, and an integrated CD-ROM system. Daddy, let's do this book tonight. The Compact Presario will let you do things that may have seemed impossible before. She brushed? Television of the future? I've got it now. Direct TV. It's movies, hit movies, tons of movies. It's like browsing in a video store right in your living room and always finding what you want. Ooh. The hit movies I want start every 30 minutes. Now, for just $2.99 each, the movies come to me. All digital, so I can get a great picture with CD sound. That never happened before. For more movies, sports, and cable networks, get your DSS 18-inch dish and Direct TV at your RCA dealer. Saturday, it's do or die in the NFL. First, Bledsoe and the Patriots take on the Bears. Then, a must-win game between the Chiefs and Raiders. Saturday on NBC. Sunday. Lord, see how it all began. We came here for life, for a chance to live. Earth 2, the movie, Christmas night on NBC. Hi, this is John LaRoquette. From our cast and crew, thanks for watching. <laughs> Hi, 
right, stay tuned for the Tonight Show. My guests tonight are Juliet Lewis and Melissa Etheridge. Dateline NBC is next. It's Tuesday, December 20th, 1994, and this is Dateline NBC. Tonight. Get set to go undercover to see how easy money is made from your tax dollars. Out there in front of everybody, he's doing this. The lines are long and odds you'll get caught are even longer. The food stamp follies. Mike Betcher with a Dateline investigation. You've seen the ads. Models, celebrities, it's the hottest, hippest campaign of the 90s. Please do your part. And it's all the work of this man. You are anti-fur. Yes. Anti-leather. Yes. Anti-wool. Anti-silk. Has the animal rights movement gone too far? A U.S. Army pilot is being held in North Korea. Will he be released? This is the man who could decide his fate. The rumors like this. Kim Jong-il is a madman, a lunatic, a stunted little boy, fond of terrorism, movies, and Swedish women. Tonight, John Larson on North Korea's Mystery Man. Just today, another incident outside the White House. The third in two months. Is the president safe? John Scott has the latest. Plus, brilliant idea, Dateline's Picture of the Week. Dateline with Jane Pauley and Stone Phillips, plus Tom Brokaw, Katie Couric, Bryant Gumbel, and Maria Shriver. Dateline continues after this brief message. How much closer do our precision heads help shave beneath the skin? How much closer does our innovative groove make Norelco's lift and cut system? How much better is the latest Norelco razor? We think you'll find it's never brought you closer. The Norelco razor, our closest shave ever. Scampi champagne. I like it. Sparkling, delicious. No champagne tastes like Bellatore. Frankly, I think it tastes better than champagne. One sip of Bellatore, one sip says it all. Every day this week, Sears opens early for great savings, like women's outerwear. Save 30 to 50% on our entire stock of Mrs. and Junior jackets. Long and short coats, even rainwear. We open at 8, stay open late. This week only at Sears. From Danielle Steele's bestseller, Once in a Lifetime. Jeffrey! A tragedy took her husband. Now, a single mother, afraid to love, is torn between two men. I never want to feel that kind of pain again. But which one will help them become a family again? I love you. Lindsay Wagner in the best Danielle Steele ever. Once in a Lifetime, NBC Monday. It's a special holiday, Unsolved Mysteries, now on Friday. Was this terminally ill child really healed by a Christmas miracle? I have the proof. Unsolved Mysteries, now on Friday. From our studios in New York, here is Jane Pauley. Good evening. As we head into the holidays, you may be among the many Americans who will donate money to charities to put gifts beneath the trees of the needy and food on their tables. But Dateline has found that millions, even billions, of the dollars you pay in taxes to feed the hungry are going to waste. Our undercover investigation has found in some cases the food stamp program has become a fraud stamp program. Here's Mike Betcher. We've got 6490 food stamps, which is 4543. Come here. What we're really talking about is denying benefits of food to put on the table for families who have children at home because of criminal activity. Two thousand. Three thousand. At a time when our nation sees senior citizens climbing into dumpsters, actually looking for their next meal. This level of waste and abuse in the food stamp program can't be tolerated and it's got to be rooted out. Witness this country's most lucrative form of stamp collecting, caught on hidden camera all over the country. They're trading food stamps, exchanging them for dollars instead of using them for food. These undercover tapes show how the scam works. The food stamp recipient trades in stamps for less than their face value in cash. 
Later, the grocery store owner will turn in the stamps to the government for their full value. For example, a recipient who has been given $100 worth of food stamps at no cost trades them in for $70 cash. Investigators say that cash is spent on everything from crack and heroin to guns, cars, and even homes. The grocer then redeems the stamps for the full $100, making a $30 profit. The losers? The American taxpayers. The scammers are brazen, and they deal in big money. The scammer is on the right. He's in the process of getting stung. How much can you take at a time? A lot. A lot? Why do you don't give me all your business? Across the country, instead of feeding the poor and hungry, law enforcement officials say food stamps have become a second currency. You can purchase guns, you can purchase drugs. I'm Anything and everything that you can think of that you can purchase with cash, you can buy, you can purchase with food stamps, uh, and I'm saying anything. The people in Washington who should know about the extent of food stamp fraud really don't know. The Secret Service has one figure, its estimate, actually a guesstimate, $2 billion a year lost to food stamp fraud. But the Department of Agriculture, which administers the program, has only about four dozen agents to investigate the fraud. That's less than one per state. And it admits it really has no idea exactly how much is being stolen. The tragedy is that for families at the poverty line, food stamps are the difference between eating and going hungry. The program was started in 1964 at a cost of some $30 million. Now the food stamp program costs $26 billion, with the average family of four receiving about $270 a month. Congressman Ron Wyden, Democrat of Oregon is a liberal, a believer, but he's also worried that fraud could destroy the program. This is doubly important at a time when welfare reform is being debated. Take a look here. She's going through bags. Unbelievable. As we were walking in front of the U.S. Capitol, a woman was searching the garbage cans. It just breaks your heart. The Department of Agriculture folks ought to realize that there is something very wrong when we've got our senior citizens having to hang around restaurants and food stores and even dumpsters trying to scavenge for a next meal. And at the same time, uh, the Secret Service says the program's uh, ripped off for almost $2 billion. It's hard to determine what the precise number is for fraud. Ellen Haas runs the food stamp program for the Department of Agriculture. You're talking about criminal behavior inside the cities, undercover, and you don't know what the what the real bottom line is. But you really don't have to go too far to find food stamp fraud. Just down to the corner grocery store, like these stores in Akron, Ohio. 